Welcome to Lexman Repair Group, no affiliation of Rossman Repair Group, LLC. Today we are working on an iPhone X, which has a similar problem to an iPhone that came to need repair in June of 2015, when I brought it to the Apple Genius Bar, only to find out that I had somehow gotten a small piece of a tortilla chip wedged into the charging port which was causing it to have a hard time reading the charging cable. I'm having a similar problem, but I have not eaten a tortilla chip in a very long time. So my suspicion is that there is dirt, sand, dog hair, or another obstruction in the charging port that is causing an issue. So what we are currently doing is backing up the iPhone to the MacBook Pro because naturally I'm a professional. And according to the interweb experts, I should be able to clean out the charging port on my iPhone using a very technical instrument for cleaning, a wooden toothpick. <laughs> now the reason I am backing up my iPhone prior to cleaning it out with this super sophisticated modern age space tech toothpick is because if you F some shit up on your phone, you're gonna need that backup. Now, in the event you have already written the comment, there's no need for retraction, but the reason that I am not just simply backing up my phone to the cloud is because my reception sucks balls. Okay, friends, I figure there's no better place to clean the dust and dirt out of the charging port of my iPhone than out on the rocky surface of the desert. Riot is being babysat by the rat tree. Crazy. And we have the iPhone with the clogged charging port. Some filth should be expected when you live primarily outside. Now what I don't want to do is break the end of the Q-tip or the end of the toothpick off in there. There's definitely a lot of dirt. It's weird to think I'm holding like a thousand dollars in my hand and poking at it with a toothpick to take care of it. But it seems to have Yeah. Now what was happening before is if I wiggled it, it would it was like it wasn't connecting anymore. And now it seems to stay connected to charge regardless of the wiggle. So I think the cleaning really helped. I thought I still had a spare otter box, which I like as a phone case, even though they're really bulky, because they have protection for the charging port where this one does not. In our modern world, the phone is one of the most vital things in our lives in order to stay connected to the outside world, especially in current era. It is also how I conduct about 90% of my job. So to have the fear that this was no longer going to be able to charge was uh, pretty pretty terrifying, but luckily it seems like things are way better. Still, I wish I had a magnifying glass, that would have helped. Oh, there's still dirt coming out of the charging port. I just had the inclination to do like a final swipe and look, there's still gook. Yikes. So boys and girls, this is not advice to use toothpicks to clean your iPhone, although it does seem to have been successful. This is a warning to be very cautious with your electronics. Ah, oh, perfect. If you are out in the desert. And don't be like me and wait until you have a problem with your electronics to maintain your electronics. Holy balls, this is filthy. Now, 
As I've mentioned, the desert is pretty hostile to a lot of different things, and today might not be a very good reflection of the sun just eating things because there's quite a cloud cover. But something that you often see are people having wheel covers, and wheel covers I looked into uh, run about $30 uh, for a set, and I was thinking, why can't you just rig some? So originally I just threw this reflective uh, emergency blanket over the wheel covers and it kind of works but it billows a lot and since the trailer is aluminum these heavy duty magnets don't stick to it except for where we get close to where there is you know the metal framing so it works okay but I had to put rocks on top and then I got to thinking and thinking can be a rather dangerous hobby for me, but hopefully this works out well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna Lexi rig some wheel covers. My hope by making some more wheel cover type wheel covers, as opposed to just hanging the emergency reflective blanket, is that they won't billow in the wind and I won't have a problem because particularly on cloudy days like today in the desert, as cold fronts move in, the wind really, really picks up. So I have some leftover Reflectix, I have a pair of scissors, and I have duct tape. Let's see what we can do today with these three items. I did not have as much Reflectix as I thought I had, so we might only be able to make one terrible wheel cover today. It's just the sun eats everything, ages everything faster, oxidizes everything faster, which is why I'm wearing a hat and SPF 50. I want to protect the wheels so they don't get cracked and wrinkly. That would be so adequate if I just had a single axle, but I have a double axle and now I'm out of Reflectix. But as you can see, like Reflectix are way cheaper than wheel covers. <sighs> In theory, this Lex Rigging project was good. I just ran out of Reflectix, so for now, really this thing is the simplest solution, but you can see It's not helpful if it's always blowing around. So. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching me fail in my mission to create cheap wheel covers. I hope you enjoyed this Lexi rigging, as we'll now call my... Alright, there's enough of this now. So, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I decided to, well, you'll have to watch to the, for the next video, but it starts with pr and ends in operty. It's not definite, but it's close. I hope you enjoyed. If you got anything out of today's video, please like it. Consider subscribing and we'll see you for the next bit of tomfoolery with Lux and Riot. <laughs> Huh.